I'm Nancy Fitzpatrick. I'm from Adderwell, West Lothian. We were at church every Sunday and just going about our normal. I've got sisters that stay in Adderwell, so it was easy enough to pop in to see them or go and visit my granddaughters in Armadale or Blackburn and uh, things like that. But when COVID came, everything stopped. <laughs> we just self-isolated um, at the very beginning for quite a wee while because we were just a bit scared to go out. And um, I've got a younger sister, not Avril, but another younger sister who had insisted she got groceries for us. So uh, that was good, uh, except I was a bit unhappy about her going to the shops as well. But uh, she insisted, but when the miners' welfare charities had said that they would deliver essential items, I thought, well, that is really good. So uh, I think that lasted maybe 20, 24 weeks or something. So that was absolutely really beneficial uh, because you got most of the things that you needed and we didn't really have to get many extras. Uh, we got really essential items that we needed. So we're not too ha not too hard to please uh, as far as food goes because we need anything. <laughs> And um, I was a cook, actually, in the schools for a lot of years. And then I was at Uliburn Bay Centre as a cook down there. So I've got a few wee things that I can do with food. <laughs> the volunteers, they, when they came, I didn't know them all, but they just dropped the bag off down the bottom of my steps. And then they stood back and we got our groceries. And it was really good because we, they used to have a wee chat with us because we only seen anybody, especially missing my grandchildren. That's what I missed the most, I think. But we only seen anybody, so they were really good. And they stood in maybe five, maybe five minutes, a wee bit more, and had a, a wee talk with us, a wee blather, asked how you were, and just told us a wee bit maybe what was going on in Adwell. So we were really grateful for that. I think we'll be forever, forever grateful for that. Broke the monotony of just staying in all the time. I'm still friendly with a lot of people in the community, but we weren't seeing them to, you just, I mean, I don't mean a gossip, I mean just to talk about how's this going or how's something else. So we could ask about how was this person or how were they coping or things like that. It was really good. It was really good that they dedicated so much time and effort to do this because they had sacrificed quite a lot. I mean, it wasn't just a matter of bringing a bag of groceries to you. It's the time that they took to, and I knew, knew they had to pack them. And a lot of them had jobs as well. So I'm not, not playing down Adderwell, but we've not got a lot going on in Adderwell. So that was really, it was really good. And, and the way it was packed and the thought that was put in, because they, they must have thought about, you now what would does these people be using? I think the whole community supported everybody. People, although I don't know a lot of people, because there's a lot of different people in Adewell than what it used to be. But um, we used to, we, an odd time, it was a good day, we went a wee walk. And I found places in Adewell I didn't know existed. <laughs> I've got a son in Glen Glosses. So he came over one good day, and we were able to sit outside. And uh, that was good, because we spent our time chatting there. But my neighbour as well, she's been really, really good. She's younger and her husband and her family, and they've been, they're really good. And they're still the very same yet. They've, they're, although I always spoke to them and things like that, and I knew them from years and years, their family anyway. But uh, now they seem to take an active part in always doing things for us, and which we're grateful for. You just wonder what's going to happen. There's no much you can do. It's, we're going to the supermarkets now, no, an awful lot, but yeah. actually... The Miners' Welfare, the charity, but has actually started a, a wee shop called The Larder, and it's open on Saturday for um, a few hours. And um, so we actually go up there. The only it's it's really quite safe because the only you wear a mask and you only like, they allow four in, so you know you're safe enough and everything. And we can get quite a lot of groceries there, and it's at really reasonable prices. Unbelievable how reasonable it is. Now we get out, we go we go places, we sometimes go a wee run, <laughs> we quite like a wee run to maybe just over to Burnt Island or something, go run, we still go out of the car a lot, we didn't really go into restaurants very much, but there's some of them actually still doing things yet in the community, that it's, it's, so it's been a good thing, I mean Covid's no good, but it's been a good thing for Adewell in a way, because there's, there's like these, 
boxing clubs and different things starting up. And I'm, I'm looking forward to see what they can start for my age group. <laughs> yes, and you have to be kind of your glass half full all the time. What's the point of sitting moaning? <laughs> Just go on with it. <laughs>